Hi everyone, hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we will be solving problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is largest number with given sum. So as usual, first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we will be proceeding to the coding part. Right? So first of all, let's understand the problem first. Geek lost the password of his super locker. He remembers the number of digits n as well as the sum s of all the digits of his password. He knows that his password is the largest number of n digits that can be made with given sum s as he is busy doing his homework help him retrieving his password. Right? So let's understand with the help of an example. So here you are having what? n where n is denoting what? The number of digits. Right? And s is the summation of those digits so what is to be done here that is a key who has forgot his password all he know is that his password is the largest number of n digits for the for the given digits n he is going to get the he is having the largest number that can be made with the given sum s let's understand uh, with the help of this output so here n value is 5 s value is 12 right so for this five digits this is the maximum possible number that we can have right you can see here what they have done it is starting they have put nine like nine is the maximum digit that you can put then 12 minus 9 only three is remaining right because overall the summation of the number should be 12 right whatever number that geek is going to form that should be equal to 12 right it's only three is remaining so the remaining sum they have put on the next on the next side right nine then three and remaining places because there are five digits five days needed so remaining places they have been filled by zero so this is the maximum possible number for n equal to five whose sum is 12. so here you can understand with the help of explanation as well that sum of elements is 12 largest possible five digit number is 93,000 with sum 12. here is the next example n equal to 3 s equal to 29 now to make a number which is having three digits so what is the largest value that you can put on these three places 999 nine, nine. and if you will add those 999 nine, nine, you will be getting 27 right so this is not even possible making this number is not even possible that's what they have specified that there is no such three digit number whose sum is going to be 29 so whatever task is we have to read input or print uh, okay we don't have to read any input or print anything our task is to complete the function largest number which takes two integer and and s as input parameters and returns the password in the form of a string as return minus one in the form of a string right so i hope the question is clear for you so let's understand the logic part now okay so here what the question asks for us question asks to make a possible largest possible number which is having these n digits and the summation of those digits should be what should be equal to the given sum right so the first of all our target to make a number is the largest what we can do just think about it we can at the first place for example here we are having five places one two three four five okay so at the first place the largest value that you can put what it is nine obviously right so out of 12 we have consumed 9 so now what is remaining 3 is remaining okay now 3 is remaining so what you can put on this place now on this place what we can put on the second place next to 9 what we can put we can put this 3 okay because other than 3 if you would if you will put anything that will result into what okay let's say if i put 4 i won't be getting the expected summation if i'm putting here 1 Okay, so you can see if you are putting here 1 or 2, so this will make the number smaller and here whatever target is to get the possible maximum largest number, right, as per the condition. So, here we will be putting 3 only and for the remaining places we will be putting 0, 0, 0, right. So, you can see here we are using some kind of greedy approach. We are using the greedy approach part, right. So, if you understood till now whatever we explained so what you can see here you can see that if the given sum value is greater than greater than or equal to 9 what we can do is at the first place 
we'll be using this 9 okay and then we'll be reducing this number from 9 and whatever we have got if that value for example here in this case 12 minus 3 12 minus 9 we got 3 so we are going to we are going to consume that complete value okay we are going to consume that complete value okay so that's what we are supposed to do that's what we are supposed to do uh, let's say if our number is um, 1 okay n value is 1 and sum value is 0 so in that case what we have to do obviously the sum is less than 9 right the sum is less than 9 so what we'll be doing is we'll be simply appending because we have to return a string so we'll be simply appending the 0 and we'll be returning that okay so this is how we have to solve this problem right so this is what we'll be doing i hope that should be clear to you right i've explained uh, in a proper way so i believe that it should be clear so this is what we have done in the code part uh, here is the string builder answer right so first of all we have to check that whether it is possible to make such number for the given summation for example when we were having n equal to 3 and uh, summation equal to 29 so you know that summation is okay so you'll be checking summation sum is greater than that of uh, to, uh, greater than that of 9 right so we'll be putting 9 at the first place and 29 minus 9 you'll be uh, you'll be having 20 if still sum is greater than that of 9 so again on the next place you'll be putting 9 so so from it became 20 now again now again if you will check so 20 minus 9 we'll be having what 11 we'll be having what 11 11 is also greater than that of 9 so we'll be putting here 9 right so still 11 minus 9 you'll be having 2 still that 2 is pending right so maximum to maximum number for n equal to 3 that we can have is uh, for the given summation 999 9, 9. okay it means for uh, this is not possible to have a summation of 29 that is not possible so we'll be simply returning in that scenario minus 1 so that's what we are checking here is that if some value is greater than that of 9 into n so this is not possible right so we'll be simply returning minus 1 otherwise what we are doing is we are simply having a for loop int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so here we are checking that if sum is greater than or equal to 9 so first of all we are going to consider that 9 right and we are going to reduce our sum by 9 okay sum minus uh, sum equal to sum minus 9 here we are doing and to our answer we are appending 9 otherwise if it is lesser than that of 9 so what we are doing is we are simply appending that particular sum only and then as if you have Assume the complete sum for example when we were having 12 and then 9 was reduced so we were having 3 right for the next time what we did we used the complete 3 only we used the complete sum only that is there so sum became what sum became 0 so that's what we are doing here that append the value of sum and then sum will become 0 okay and this loop will continue till the time i value is less than that of n so if sum became zero no worries this zero will keep on adding like as we were having nine three one two three okay so this zero will keep on appending and at the last we are simply returning answer dot two string because we need a string right so this is the code for the given problem i hope that the code part the logic part everything is clear to you if it is then make sure to subscribe my channel do like this video thank you so much for watching everyone i have provided the code in the description for the reference so you can check it from there thank you